Good day. We're here at Meet the Mortals today, and I'm your genial host, Iggy Pop. I've been on tour for some time now with this gentleman who calls himself Nash the Slash and claims to be a musician. Mr. Slash, just to start things off, uh, how much do you drink at night? <laughs> Less than other performers on the tour do. Is that due to uh, the Mexican problem? Yes, the Mexican problem uh, rears its ugly head in Calgary <coughs> and Edmonton and other places that are just such problems. Uh, mm -hmm. They have feet problems and they have uh, drug problems and drinking problems. Um, it's become quite a, quite a point on the tour. As a matter of fact, I meant to ask you, Mr. Pop, um, why is it that your audience is so uh, aggressively oriented? And uh, do you know what it's like trying to be out there at night playing to that audience before his royal highness comes out there? I mean, it's it's almost unbearable. Well, it's it's of course it has to do with the with the uh, with the curse of the tainted prick. Um, <laughs> I mean, far really, uh, far be it for me to uh, to uh, to presume in unusual uh, unusual powers uh, because of the because of the curse. But we know, you know that I know, and I know you know I know. And I know you all know that I know, and that he knows I know, and that I know that he knows that I know, and I know you know. And it's a curse. It is a curse. One other question. <laughs> Do you fart through bandages? I'm used to this with smell. <laughs> it is <coughs> so. Yeah, where have we been? Yeah, let's, let's play let's where we've I know where I've been. Point out, let's point out to everybody. Can we get a close up on this map here, this globe? You should point out that this is a North America tour we're doing. Yes. This, of course, is North America. Um, right now, we are approximately here. Yes. And, and, and it started in Washington. Now yes. we're doing this. We are doing this entire circumference yes. of this continental mass here, passing through. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the Canadian Whoa. part. What happens when we get down into the <laughs> desert areas? We won't have the mush <coughs> uh, dog teams to work. Oh, that's right. The dogs. Yes. The What's dogs. going to happen to the dogs? The road Jeez, dogs. In the the fucking desert dogs are gonna fucking drop. I know. It'll be too hot. No water. They can't pull any equipment. We'll have to get Vietnamese boat people to help. We can get do buggies like the Mansons. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good yeah. idea. You'd look on a camel. Police, but the police ride camels, don't they? I have a blister. See, blister on my foot. It's gonna hurt. So did you have a? Did you? Do you have an? Did you have a sort of an intellectual calm last night? I mean, uh, did. Has its Calgary left its mark indelibly on your Calgary. soul of souls? Yes, Calgary always leaves its mark. There's a magic about Calgary. Yeah. We figure that how how is it that you know so many cowboys can have so much money? The dogs are fine up here. I mean, you know, yeah, everything's been cool. That I want to get a gold-plated violin to put on the front of my van. Yeah, I thought that would hood ornament, you know, appropriate. Yeah. Are there any millionaires out there? If, is, do we have a number we can call? <laughs> if you have daughters. We need some, yes. Yeah. That's, yeah. You know, I've we been, need some input here. We I've been some. in the game a long time. And between you and me, <laughs> you're better off with a, you know, a girl with money. I'm telling you, any time, you know, she's got to have her own money. Really? You know, you'll see. Yeah. No oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're, we're halfway through the tour at this point. What is your and gender? And... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna check here. <laughs> I think it's the same size. <coughs> hey, this is actually much cooler sitting here with no yeah. socks on. This is making it. You're making it, making it rock and roll. Here it is. The lights, the glamour, you know. An interesting conversation, you know. Dogs are fed. Gigs done. Got the bread. Is the world your oyster yet?
<laughs> yeah, it's it's the world's the world's my oyster. Look at this. See, that could be. I like that to, could be when yours. I hang out at I like to hang out like at the little snots at college radio stations, you know. Oh yeah. That really fucking gets me going. <laughs> I love that. Sure, it's my fucking oyster. That's right. College radio. College radio. Tell us about college radio. How, well, how much it inspires you. I have Oster, Osterberg's theory. According to Osterberg's theory of college radio, if you have 10,000 kids, man, going to a college, and there's one, there's one free station, there's going to be, it's not going to be divided between the use of all the kids. There's going to be one snot, the most pricky, obnoxious, grasping person in the in the school is going to figure out a way to get a hold of those boys, you know. And uh, so you generally, just, they're pretty twerpy, but on the other hand, I like the kids who listen to them. Yeah. So there you go, a, you know. So it's like 6 1. Yeah, the audience is great, but the people who run it are usually uh, megalomaniacs. But I tried to do an interview last night, and it was just this little blonde kid. I just had to keep telling her to shut up. Every five seconds, I had to tell this kid to shut up. How could the kid be so dumb? Really sick of dumb kids like that, no? Huh? You find a lot of Snotty, kids. dumb, fucking. Old bearing little prick. Find they don't understand you. Do you feel that you're understood? I mean, no. Yeah. Do you think you're normal? I've been misunderstood. <laughs> Fucking long enough now. This this is really getting serious, ladies and gentlemen. I, I don't know if this is what we all want to watch. I mean, this is, we're watching a very Famous. Have <laughs> a complete breakdown. Oh God, you're <laughs> do, we, do we have the uh, medic on hand, please? Right. Oh, you're, oh. I'm okay. The, the traumas come and go. The traumas of life on the road. Oh. <laughs> That's good. Hey, so we do our exercises hey, now. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. Let's get this okay. stuff out of the way. First of all, all right. remove okay. our microphones. You need oh, these yeah. microphones. Yeah, well, we'll fall off. Okay. We're still talking these things, though. So. What we want to do, we're going to demonstrate here, ladies oh, and gentlemen, yeah. is uh, the the Osterberg, the Osterberg method of, uh, oh, yeah. of finer rock fitness. of rock fitness. That's it. Yes, rock fitness. Mick Jagger's got his method, and Mr. Osterberg's got his. So let's go, Jim. Okay. Well, everybody. I call this, this is called the fawn. Can't do it, drop my boots on. <laughs> yeah, now, ladies, yes, we arch. <laughs> okay. We arch our right hand, right our back, with a noble gesture here. Now, we take, you see, we lift our foot, our back foot a little bit. With a little fawn in the forest, see? And it's very, it's very good, ladies. Oh, my God. This is <laughs> this book develops balance and self-confidence. <laughs> if you do this long enough every day, you can come on TV and make a fool of yourself <laughs> and do anything you want, but you have self-confidence, so it'll all work out. Are we getting all this dialogue on, <coughs> on these microphones? <laughs> Terrific. No. How much further can this go? Doesn't want to spit on the radio, TV station. Here. Um, <laughs> this is what I call the Cobra. And this is good for development of your back and tendons right here. Then you go like this, and you're a Cobra. And it's also, this is also um, very good for learning how to express aggression. <coughs> and it gives you like a, a hard, oh yes, um, <laughs> a warm feeling. Uh, <laughs> well, well, I think we can find I gotta see, I gotta see Christopher's mail from a group the other day. Well, that's good. You can't your travels and death. Group be depressed me. Yeah. Do they depress me? You see me. You see me. Yeah, I know you do. I'm busy doing uh, uh, cobra pose. 
Well, I mean, there's no, if you see me, they're not grouped together. No. Once in a while, you get an information. I do. Would you like to bless me? <laughs> I've always been deeply religious. <laughs> well, I think it's done enough. Yeah, we're good. Yes, I think we're good. I think that. Very nice. Very nice. Very good. Hey. I said he got sued. Well, did we ruin your TV studio? <laughs> Yeah, great editing job, right, Mark? Uh, they're just uh, three or four parts. Just three or four, <laughs> 30 or 40. <laughs> that was no good. And the oh, good answer for the food. I mean, it was good. Too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I hope we didn't ruin any equipment. Oh, I didn't ruin any equipment. It's Calgary, Nick Jordan. Let's have a copy of that. Harry will like that. Oh, yeah, we should definitely will get one. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.